one day I'm at school and I can just not seem to focus on what the teacher is explaining at the board. I try to focus, and, but I just feel sleepy. I cannot think straight and I'm thinking, what in the world? Why can't I just focus? I mean, I know the top grade students can't. And why can't I? And with time, I learn about this thing called intermittent fasting and how amazing it is for our energy, performance, not having brain fog. And I try it from time to time and it's pretty good. And especially when I try again somewhat recently to fast until 3.30 p.m. until after I complete school for the day. I try that. And man, I, I seem like a rocket, bro. My energy levels are sky high. And I am able to focus. I'm able to stay present. And actually, I'm way more motivated and, and faster and and more excited to actually complete the tasks better and faster than the other classmates. And all this because I don't have a carb crash. Because think about it. When, you actually, when we actually eat, researchers have found that when we eat, we eat a lot of carbohydrates, right? Like bread, pasta, fruits, whatever. A bunch of food is just carbohydrates. Give us a rapid increase in blood glucose levels, but then a fast crash. They have found out that fluctuation makes us more tired, makes us more sleepy, makes us uh, have brain fog, basically not being able to think straight. And if you don't believe me, literally take a book, bro. Stay fasted, don't eat anything for let's say one hour a day or two hours tomorrow. Read a book, do some work, and then have a break, eat. And for half an hour or one hour after that, try to do that again. And from my personal experience, I see how just damaged the performance of my brain is in that moment. Of course, it can be repaired, obviously. This is just for some time. But it's not effective, it's not feeling good. Especially if you want to be productive and get some work done. It makes you even more... Dude, by making you more sleepy, you don't even... You're not even as motivated. Motivated. And so when, when we fast, the researchers have found that we don't operate as much from glucose anymore for some time that we fast, but on ketosis. Very interesting, huh? And we literally, in that process, don't use carbohydrates for energy, but because they have long-term, give us long-term energy, not short-term. But we operate on burning literal fat. And that is giving us massive energy. And simply because we're not eating carbs, obviously. And also this affects our mood. Because what we eat, basically 95% of serotonin in the body, it is said that it is formed in the gut. It is created in the gut. And basically serotonin is the hormone of happiness. So the action step for you is that you begin from tomorrow on. I'm not saying to fast for like 20 hours if you cannot seem to do it at the beginning at least. But try a couple hours. Try it maybe even until after school or your job. But if it's too hard for you, just try until you begin school or your job. Just focus on some work, get it done, pass it. And also by eating so many carbs throughout the day, we just have that spike glucose level and insulin is released to kind of stop that or something like this. But then if we do that for too much, obviously, and if obviously if you don't know how many calories you're eating, you're probably eating too much, bro. I mean, bro, you can become insulin resistant. And from what I learned is that it doesn't work the same in terms of all that blood glucose levels like regulated or whatever and then you can have type 2 diabetes bro. I mean you see all these people that just overeat all these carbs especially bro you just get more fat bro and this is again another point I wanted to mention if you eat in this type so many times throughout the day and free can be too much maybe especially depending on how much you actually eat in one meal you don't give the digestive system the gut enough time to rest basically because it, because it digests food all day and what do you think happens then the researchers have found that you begin to develop bad bacteria and therefore put more fat on and perhaps have some other health negative aspects so let's talk a bit more about 
how your mood, how literally how you eat or when you eat it, how you eat it affects your happiness levels. So for example, again, serotonin, most of it is formed in the gut. And if we have that rapid crash and fluctuation of glucose, it just it impacts the production of serotonin and dopamine, which are basically what the hormones that make us more happy. So how can we avoid that? So intermittent fasting is one. Now number two, how to regulate this is to actually eat more protein first before eating foods that contain carbohydrates. And the reason why is because protein slows down all this process of digestion and because carbs tend to digest themselves, well, the, our body tends to digest carbs way faster than protein. And so protein just slows it down. And basically we slow down somewhat that spike and everything is much better. But the problem is, bro, people nowadays don't eat enough protein, bro. Let's say you look at family members, bro, they probably eat whatever, salads, foods, whatever, but without meat, without eggs, without fish, without cheese, without stuff that is healthy, that is actually protein. Peanuts, also, that are very good. Almonds. So implement these two tips if you want better health, from, and I speak from experience, better health, be, way better energy, and way more energy and excitement and to win, to be better, especially than other people and competing with them, and either way, excitement in the work. And also number three, better mood. You literally feel happier, feel better. And you can, and four, also you can practice this for discipline. Because sometimes it's just a bit hard to actually resist the desire to eat. But with time you'll, you'll uh, accustom to it because you're, you teach your body when to release hormones that make you feel hungry. So basically I teach my body to release them later in the day. That's what I learned from Charlie Morgan. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's probably what happens for me as well because right now I'm not hungry. I used to be in the past at this time. It is basically almost 7 a.m. I think on a Saturday. Very interesting, huh? So implement these tips, one intermittent fasting and two eating protein before your foods with carbohydrates. Protein from foods obviously as well. And uh, Track your calories, man, to see, to know exactly, are you eating enough calories? Maybe you're eating too much. Maybe you're eating, maybe you're not getting all your macros, all your, all your protein and carbohydrates in and fats in. So you got to be careful with that as well, because obviously you want to have your homo hormones to have healthy levels and to know exactly how much you eat, bro. And you don't want to add unnecessary weight. Or if you're bulking, if you're skinny, maybe you eat too less and you think you're eating much. But actually, that's not the truth. That happened to me, bro. I was missing 1,000 calories when I tried to bulk or something. And I'm like, of course, bro. Of course, I got to track my calories from now on. And it makes sense. Also, if you struggle with discipline, consistency, confidence, you can also get into my program on coaching call with me. I can teach you all that. The first For the first few guys, it's free. You can get it if you want to. If not, either way, I hope you got great value, man. And I'll see you in the next one. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure, and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course, I've been hurt, but I'm not much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. But they all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more, and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You're gonna see my name up on a flag. I see all this shit, and I'll never come back.